And Lord, that term net neutrality is aimed at preserving a free and open internet. Some people have used the uh, analogy of a freeway. If the current rules created under the last administration go away, some fear that some users or companies could get access to a fast lane if they're willing to pay more. It's a wonky topic that's united tech voices large and small, from online giants like Amazon to hundreds of startups nationwide who have written the FCC and rallied in support of net neutrality. Regulations created in 2015 to prevent big internet service providers like Comcast, Verizon and AT&T from providing faster service for some sites or users over others. A free and open internet means that a little website like a popular one called Reddit should be able to have easy access, just like the Washington Post or the New York Times. Michael Schutzler, CEO of the Washington Technology Industry Association, says it's too early to know what a rollback of the current rules will mean for the consumer at home. But there's concern it could potentially affect anyone from the average user to the blogger to companies of all sizes that rely on the Internet. This is a big change, and anytime you have big change, you have fear. There's reasonable fear, uncertainty, and doubt because these, these rules that were just beginning to be understood are now going to all go away. So startups are afraid um, and also large companies are afraid about it too because now that would mean ostensibly that an ISP could now charge a lot more money for the same internet access. On the other side of this debate, the chairman of the FCC calls the regulations established under President Obama heavy-handed, writing in a statement, it's depressed investment in building and expanding broadband networks and deterred innovation. There doesn't seem to be any evidence to support that. The current rules work, so monitor, maybe make adjustments, but wholesale throwing the baby out with the bathwater is just, it's just, to me, catastrophically stupid. The tech community has been very vocal on this topic. The FCC has received more than 22 million comments ahead of next month's vote on this new proposal. It is expected to pass along party lines. Currently, the FCC has a Republican majority. Ultimately, Schutzler and other tech experts say the long-term solution on Internet rules needs to come from Congress and bipartisan legislation. Back to you.